New World Empire channel. Oh my god, it's another tutorial Tuesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've, and of course, my name is Vera Sachs, and this is Mosak's New World Empire. And with me in the studio is Mosak. Yes, it's our sax class. And today we are going to be showing you sax enclosure. All right, guys, if you're excited as I am right now, please stay tuned to the end and hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to this channel. All right, let's get into it. Stay tuned and keep learning. All right, guys, so welcome back. After a break where we took our time to, you know, record some songs for some of our artists here in Nigeria and Vera Sachs, um, our superstar, you know, and uh, we are back. So let's come back to lessons. We are back to class. Welcome back to class. Okay, I want to teach you enclosure. I've been hearing this topic, I've been teaching it in this channel, but I've never titled it enclosure. So today I've decided to title it enclosure. What are enclosures? Just enclose your target note. I'm going to do. Re, ti, do. I hit the do on, my, on his head. So re, ti, do. So it's like you put around the bush and then before coming to where you are going. That's what happened in life when some people, they know this is where they are going. They first go to this side first, come back here before they come there. If your song is, we give you all, instead of going, solatido, you know, go, solatiredo, you see that? Instead of you to go to do straight, you go to tiredo, you enclose the do. That is just what it is, you know? Now, Versailles is here to demonstrate. Versailles is going to give me, um, I'm going to teach you two enclosures for major scale. Uh, that's the atonic um, enclosure. And then I'll teach you chromatic or B-pop uh, enclosures. Two, 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 just two, two. If you want more, you purchase our classes, our paid courses, and then you get a lot of enclosures that is in the, you know, the package courses called improvisation. First, the atonic uh, enclosure I'll teach you is just enclose a note diatonically. You have a note in front, you have a note behind before you hit the notes. For example, Versax is your friend, so Versax, let's go. Re ti do, mi do re, fa re mi, so mi fa, la fa so, ti so la, do la ti. Very good, very good. That is the enclosure. So the target note is what you hear at the end. So for example, the target note is my re, and then uh, the the uh, me and the do that I played was just what I used to enclose it. So if I'm going, if I'm going to fa, it will be. If I'm going to la, if la is the target, now go. I go tease or lamb. You get it? So that is just how it is. And another way you can invert it. You can invert it. And instead of playing the, the one ahead before the one below, before the target note, you play the one below, then jump to the front and play the one in front and then come back to the uh to the target note. So I, for example, that's when you have a Attacks. Let's demonstrate. Tire do. Let's go. Do mi re. Re fa mi. Mi so fa. Fa la so. So ti la. La do ti. Tire do. Beautiful. That's just the opposite. So you can see this playing on your screen while the sax was playing. So just go ahead. For those of you that like letters. Just know that the notes of the major of we are playing on key C and the notes of key C are C D E F G A B and C. So just write C is your do, Re is your D, Mi is your E, uh, F is your Fa, So is your G, uh, 
uh, A is your La, B is your T, and then C octave is now your C, your Do octave. So just um, substitute from the note and know actually what the letter is. Or just look at the video and see what she's playing. All right, so, but communication is made easy when I, when I play it, in a, when I teach you in solfas. All right, so, so how do we apply this to before we go further? For example, let's go to application. <laughs> Is it where I'm applying just a closure to Amazing Grace as simple as it is? So, Ideas. So we do these things unconsciously, but teaching you, of course, you have to start it consciously. When you when you imbibe that culture of enclosure, it becomes one of those things. So let's go again. I surrender now. Instead of just going do, I will hit my ray and come back to do. So I want to enclose the do. I surrender. Me. I'm going to me, I went to the farming. You see that? That is enclosure. So just, so already you don't even need to bother yourself. Just practicing those two exercises will be fine. Versus play the two exercises again and then let them practice it and I'm sure they'll be able to apply it into their songs. All right, Versus, let's go. So that's just how it is in whatever way you can. Uh, let me just do a song. Um, let me do another song. Of you love that. Wow. 
Rasa is even soloing with it now. So don't forget, it's also like a permutation in his head. So it, even after she finished, she decided to use it as a permutation kind of a spice. All right, the next, um, we're going to the beep up or the chromatic um, enclosure. What's that? That one is, we're going to be substituting some of the notes. What's beep up? Beep up is where you begin to add some chromatic notes in the midst of your diatonic notes. That's all simple. So what is beep up? If I'm going to do re and I play do di re, that's beep up already. Or re di do. I'm going to uh, la ti do. And I go, la to ti do. The, anything that brings in a chromatics while playing a major scale is beep up. That is the system of the beep up era. And then you have a lot of beep up scale where you have do re mi fa fi sol la ti do, do re mi do re mi fa sol la to ti do, do re mi do di re mi do di re mi fa fi sol la ti do. So different anywhere you now begin to add chromatics, you begin to have you begin to name it after that uh, scale that you added a chromatic uh, passage. So it becomes a uh, Lydian beep up, uh, pentatonic beep up. So if, what is pentatonic beep up? <laughs> I've added do re mommy. I've added I, I added a chromatic passage into between do re and me. Between re and me, I added re mommy because I'm adding something to chromatics to pentatonic scale. It becomes pentatonic B pop. So, what is pentatonic B pop? I just showed you a scale now. You know. <laughs> Chromatics passages here and there is what is called the beep up um, um, jazz uh, approach. Okay, so but so I've, I haven't explained what is beep up. Many of you know what's beep up now. Um, so let me just show you uh, what. Are, the, now the same thing we did that I was. I want to turn that to a beep up because. What has happened? I have substituted me do re. That do will now be di re. So I don't want to go a that. I want. To, I don't want to go a full tone behind the target note again. I want to now go a half step, half step below, or half step above. Now not just the full, uh, the full step of the major scale. All right, Versace is going to help us. So we now have me di re. Or let's start from re ti do, re ti do, mi di re. Fa mommy, so me fa. La fi so, la fi so. Ti zi la. Do to ti. Re ti do. And then the second B pop um enclosure I'll show you is that one is almost the same thing, but we are doubling some some node. That's the diatonic uh, aspect of it. I told you if you get the course, you're going to see a lot of ideas on enclosure. The next one is let's put the uh, beep up of this um, this particular style we just did. Do re do ti do mi fa mi re mi re di re mi fa mi mi. Re mi re di re mi fa mi mi. So a lot of these are la di la di la la di la di la ti do ti do ti ti do ti do ti do ti do ti do. All right, so practice make perfect. Let's do it again. Do ti do ti. Let's hear Verasax play a song and apply that. Any song. Let's go. <laughs> Ye 
I'm a VR beep up. Versace is going to so 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 me do. So it's just there. So in other words, she has added another style. She played it on the low and went the octave. So even though the octave is her target note, Versace decided to do her beep up, um, her beep up enclosure in the lower octave and switch to her uh, upper. Octave. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Okay, Versace, go ahead and finish what you started. <laughs> She landed on a ray and she decided to, 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 you know, to magnify that, to add some emphasis to that ray by doing the same, by enclosing that ray that she landed on. So, you see that? Ray, melody, ray. After all, in that style, you started from the target note, did something, went up and down, and came back to the target note. So, if I go, even if I have got. There are so many things you can do, uh, especially when we begin to break it down as we did in our courses. All right, Versas, let's continue. <laughs> That's an enclosure. That's a, a, um, a, a grace note, using a grace note. The grace note itself is an enclosure. And then going back to the me and then coming back to her target note, which is so. You see what she did? That's an enclosure on the pentatonic. All right, continue. to your fields. You can be just feeling yourself and just feeling the gaps in music and then not necessarily playing a song and then just go. I'm going to this song. It's all about you, Jesus. Versa, play this song for me and add some, um, some enclosure. Enclosures. Get those courses. I tell you, you're gonna, you know, really uh, enjoy yourself. I have a course on enclosures, on B pop, on on modes. That's what we call the advanced jazz improvisation course. Let's go ahead and get it. All right, guys. Thanks for staying tuned to the end of the class, and I'm sure you gain a lot today. Of course, there are deeper things about this enclosure. Of a thing. So you got to register with us at Mozart's New World Empire and uh, we'll go deeper and deeper in these things. All right, guys, be rest assured that whatever you register for, you are going to get it. There's no doubt about it. Like you're going to get it. We break it down, we make it very simple, and you get it straight up. All right, guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Subscribe and hit the notification uh, bell beside it so you'll be notified when we upload anything. And for our old subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you for staying tuned to this channel. Thank you for not unsubscribing. <laughs> and don't keep down your saxophone, your instrument, anyone at all. We got you covered in this channel. All right. See you in our next tutorial. Bye. Here in New World
is all about music. Pentatonic skills, more like the major skills. You just have to move the fly and see we go. Let me show. 